Thank you so much for joining me in part two of this series, The Breath, the Core, and the Pelvic Floor. Today we're going to talk about how the system actually works. Before we do that, let's go back and review key points from part one. So if you haven't watched part one, I highly recommend that you do. It's important foundational information. But just to review, we discussed that the deep core system acts like a container in our body. It's made up of four muscles, the pelvic floor on the bottom, the respiratory diaphragm on top, the muscle for breathing, the deepest abdominal muscle in the front, the transverse abdominis, and the deepest extensor in the back, the multifidus. We also mentioned in part one that this is the only system in our body that's reflexive. It's the only system in our body that anticipates the movement of our limbs in order to stabilize us. But how does it all work? And the answer is the entire deep core system is led by the breath. Julie Weeb, who's an amazing physical therapist and has done so much in the field, coined the term piston science to describe how the system works because it works like a piston. Follow me here when I describe it's worth it. When we inhale and our lungs fill with air, that growing volume of air in our lungs pushes the diaphragm down, our abdominal contents go down with it, and the pelvic floor also lengthens. We exhale, the pressure from our lung is released, and everything shortens, recoils, and engages. So with every breath we take, the pelvic floor and the whole deep core system goes through an excursion and a retraction, an excursion, a retraction, a lengthening and a shortening. This is how our core stabilizes us. It's an exchange of pressure that's led by the breath. What does this tell you? This means that breathing is our superpower. I always tell my clients, do not underestimate the magic of breathing. Make sure that you look out for part three in the series where we will discuss how the system actually works through movement in order to stabilize us. Um, through movement, through exercise, we're going to talk about how this all works in our daily lives. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so that you don't miss any amazing videos. Can't wait to see you in part three.